passive horizontal adduction range of motion. Our zero position is going to be out here. So the midline of the humerus is going to be uh, horizontal. And we're going to bring the shoulder across in this cross body position. As with all of these shoulder range of motion measurements, passive shoulder range of motion measurements, you need to make sure that you're firmly stabilizing the lateral border of the scapula. Um, if you don't stabilize the scapula, you can get all sorts of excessive scapulothoracic motion. So you need to stabilize the lateral border. I start to feel some tissue resistance there. We're gonna spring against the tissue barrier and come around here. Now that I've established that physiological end range, as long as I keep her arm in that position, I can swing around. The reference arm is gonna be horizontal and then the indicator is going to be parallel with the humerus.